What's up? I'm Troubleshoot. Welcome back to another video. In this one, I'll be showing you how you can manage your crosshair in CS2. Backing up, restoring, and viewing other people's crosshairs while in game without worrying about losing your custom crosshair. There's a few ways of doing this. First of all, if you're going to look at anyone's crosshair in game, I'd highly recommend backing up your current crosshair first. In order to do so, if you're in game, hit escape. Otherwise, click the settings menu up here. Then head across to game. And at the very top, choose the last tab, crosshair. Then you'll see your current crosshair. All you need to do is click share or import here and copy your code in order to get the custom settings for your crosshair. Once you click this, you can open up a notepad file, for example, paste it in. And now at any stage in the future, no matter what you change these to or whose crosshair you copy, etc., etc., all of your settings should very easily come back if you click share or import and paste your code in here then click import everything will be restored to what it was before this works well in game too so for example heading into a deathmatch ship i'll go ahead and copy someone else's crosshair just like this and after replacing our current one it's now completely gone to restore our previous one escape options in the top left followed by game, crosshair, import, paste in our code here, import, and just like that, we'll have our original crosshair back in its full functionality. Obviously, to share this crosshair to friends, all you need to do is send them the code and they can import it as you would as well. But we can take this a step further and actually take our existing crosshair apart, getting all of the different commands that go into making this. For now, I'll quit out of the game. And in order to get the raw config for our existing crosshair, you'll need a custom workshop map downloaded. I'll head across to play followed by workshop maps at the very top and choose crashes crosshair generator. If you don't already have this map in Steam, head across to CS2 followed by workshop over here. Then search for C-R-A-S-H-Z crashes, hit enter, and you'll find the crosshair generator here. After subscribing to this map, it'll be downloaded and placed in your play workshop maps folder. Select it and choose go. Now, when you get in game, you'll see a bunch of customization to change your crosshair, professional crosshairs, etc. What you're looking for is the crosshair manager. We have two options here. The first, show crosshair code. If we click this, you'll see that it pops up the console and here's my crosshair code. But if we go ahead and click show crosshair commands instead, it'll open up our console. It's a bit confused at the moment. Just restarting the map and clicking this again. Hmm, it's a bit confused at the moment. It's supposed to show some text here in console, but at least the copy button still works. So when we click this, it'll copy it to our clipboard. And if we head across to something like notepad, control V to paste, you'll see all of the commands that go into making your crosshair yours. You can save these somewhere else or copy and paste them directly into console after you change your crosshair in game. And see, mine's now green. If I open console with tilde, paste in the long command list and hit enter, now it's suddenly back to where it was before. Cool. If you'd like to not worry about resetting your crosshair and instead have it just default to this, we can add this to our auto exec config file so that our crosshair is reset every time we launch the game. Then you can feel free to copy anyone else's crosshair and the next time you fire it up, it'll be back to the default, no manual effort required. In order to do so, close out of CS, then in Steam, find Counter-Strike 2, right click, hover over manage and choose browse local files. Then inside of him, you'll see Counter-Strike Global Offensive, head into the game folder here, followed by CSGO, then CFG. And inside of here, we have a whole bunch of configuration files, which are just text files. If you already have an autoexec.cfg file, open this with any text editor. So for example, here I have mine. You don't simply right click anywhere, hover over new and choose text document. Then select everything, including .txt and call it autoexec.cfg and hit enter. If you're prompted about changing the file format, click yes, and you should see the icon changes. Now, if you don't see .dfg or extensions like this, on Windows 11, click view followed by show and make sure file name extensions and hidden items are ticked. On Windows 10, on the ribbon bar at the very top, you'll find a view tab and on the far right, the same checkboxes, file name extensions and hidden items. Make sure those are both ticked and you'll be able to rename this here. Now that you have your config file open, scroll to the very last line and paste in your crosshair commands. Now, if we were to save this file and tell CS to launch this file automatically every time we launch the game, your crosshair will be reset to whatever you put in here, no matter what changes you make in game. So in order to get auto exec to run when CS starts, right click CS2, click properties. Then in the launch options over here, the general tab, make sure plus 
exec space autoexec.cfg shows somewhere on this list like it does here. If there are any other commands, separate them with a space. All right, now that you've added autoexec to your launch commands, if we play the game, you'll see that your crosser should be reset to whatever you have inside of that autoexec file. So the next time you load into a game, you should see your crosser is back to whatever it was before, no matter what tinkering you did beforehand in the previous launch. Something else we can do is open up a console and type in exec space auto exec like we did in the launch arguments and you'll see that your configuration is then run. This will reset your crosshair as long as you have the crosshair commands saved in a file called auto exec. What we can do instead is create a new file called maybe crosshair.cfg, removing .txt, opening it and pasting in our crosshair command here, saving it. We can open up console and type in exec space crosshair instead. And now our crosshair will be loaded into the game whenever we run that command. So if you have different view model settings or crosshair settings for different game modes and things like that, you can add them to separate configuration files and call them manually while you're playing the game with exec space followed by the file name. But anyways, that's really about it for this quick guide. Hopefully you found it useful. Thank you all for watching. My name's been Troubleshoot and I'll see you all next time. Ciao. A special thank you to my first ultimate supporter, KZ.